After successfully rolling out 3,500 solar panel systems, GV Community Energy began their next challenge to provide 1,000 home energy assessments and retrofits at workshops across Victoria. We've been involved in this project since the start and we are just delighted at the outcomes that we've seen. Many of the other programs identified the problems but didn't provide a solution. The Powerdown project, funded by the Australian Government's Low Income Energy Efficiency Program, has been an outstanding success. The Powerdown project was funded by the Australian Government's Low Income Energy Efficiency Program and we set out to test how effective workshops are, how effective home energy assessments are in reducing the, the costs and use of energy in people's homes. And what was clear when we did the analysis was people retain a lot of that information. We presented 32 different options for people to reduce their energy consumption and improve the comfort levels in their house. So how did the project work? After identifying eligible households, home energy assessors visited over 1,000 homes to educate, support and help participants to save energy and increase their comfort. Hello Kevin, how are you? Yeah, good thanks, Iris. That's I'm good. from uh, GV Community Energy. I'm here to do your home energy assessment today. Come in. So this light here, Iris, this is an old incandescent globe. That's a 40 watt of that one. We can replace that with a compact fluoro that will use less than half the power of that one. You've got nice heavy drapes there in a light colour and you've got a closed top palmet there. So that's the best possible window furnishing you'd have. Lovely and cool in the summer, but in the winter time, a lot of your heat's going straight up there. So what we could provide would be a cover that actually fits on there with a magnetic strip. Just pop it on and it'll save all your heat from going up through the ducts. Can you tell me what temperature you normally run your heating on in the winter time? Around about 22. That's probably a little bit high if you could run it on 20 or 21. We do run it on about 14 during the night. That's your overnight temperature? Yep. Yeah, so you could try it a little bit lower on that one too. Thanks no for worries. helping us today. Yeah, thank you very much, right. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Morning. Hello Mr Munro, how are you? I'm well. My name's uh, Mark Hall from Golden Valley Community Energy and I'm here to do a home assessment for you. Don't you? They're going to come and do it. I'm glad you've come. Well, I'm pleased they've called and I'm hoping we can save you some money. We're just about at the tail end of our assessment but as part of the assessment we have uh, an installer that will come out and actually install some things for you. You need a draft stopper changing some of your uh, light globes that you have. Your hot water pipes uh, are exposed, so yeah. we can have an installer come in and, and put some insulation on those uh, pipes. That sound good? Sounds good, yeah. really does. The assessments were designed to increase efficiency, lower energy costs, identify retrofits needed, whilst also increasing comfort levels. Another key aspect is providing goals for each resident to decrease their energy use through a fridge list. So Amanda, I've written down the three things that we've discussed for your fridge list. The first one was to turn off all standby power use at the, at the appliances and generally turn off your appliances at the wall switches whenever you can. Fill all empty fridge spaces with thermal mass, uh, that can be bottled water or drinks. And when using the heated throw rug, remember to go to your main home appliance and turn the heat settings lower. After the assessment, a recommendations report was sent and an installer visited to make improvements at over 1,000 properties. In addition to the home visits, 23 workshops and over 40 information sessions were held to give practical advice on how to better manage energy use and costs whilst improving comfort. At the completion of the program, significant research revealed the success of the project. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm working at Behaviour Works Australia. We've been brought in as the evaluator of the Power Down project and we are currently running the analysis. It's been fun to work on a project that really tries to make a difference to low-income households and it's been great to work with GVCE because they really are very dedicated and easy to collaborate with. Of course, the project couldn't have happened without our project partners. People are sick of cold callers and door knockers. This was by invitation only, by a responsible not-for-profit group that was giving solutions, not pushing products. They're more often than not people on fairly low incomes, so the opportunity to take to them a project that could reduce their energy costs. They have had access to a case manager 
who has assisted them in implementing any changes, as well as following up any retrofits that needed to occur within their household. This was a great opportunity just to see how people were using their energy and how comfortable they were in their homes. Having completed this project over the last two years, we now have refined our techniques to engage with our local community. And this has presented a fantastic opportunity for us to continue to make a difference in our community. The LEAP project demonstrated the success of educating and retrofitting homes in terms of reducing energy bills, lowering environmental impact and increasing resident comfort. The project has also been a shining example of the competency of GV Community Energy to deliver future energy projects with outstanding success.